From the 6th of April, you will be able to shelter even more money from the taxman. That's when the annual ISA allowance increases to a generous £20,000 per person. If your first thought is, £20,000? Forget it, I haven't got that kind of money. You might be pleasantly surprised. While you may not have that sort of money tucked up your sleeve right now, with a few simple changes you may find it's easier than you thought. And it's not about making huge sacrifices either. This is all about being a more savvy spender. Proof that this can work is Michelle Magar. She has just completed a year of no frivolous spending and managed to save enough to pay off more than £20,000 of her mortgage. The rules of the challenge were quite straightforward, I suppose. I could spend money on my essential bills, so my mortgage, my water rates, my council tax, electric, things you have to pay, and also kept up things like charitable donations, stuff like that. I also paid my broadband and my phone, and then I had a very basic food budget. Everything else was off limits, so no bus fare, so I went everywhere on my bike for a year. No trips to the cinema, no trips to the pub, unless I wanted to drink tap water um, and watch everyone else get drunk. No meals out. No clothes, no gadgets, no books, so everything else was uh, off limits. It's not only big ticket spending that stops us saving. Have you ever stopped to think how much those frequent trips to the coffee shop are costing you? Grab one every day on your way to work and you'll easily blow more than £580 a year. There are plenty of other ways to save money without having to make great sacrifices. Drop a brand level on everything you buy at the supermarket. That's an annual saving of £1,500 on an average £100 shop. Switch and you can save up to £300 on household bills, especially if you've never switched before. Turn down the thermostat on your heating by just one degree and you can save as much as £85 a year. And check for ghost payments, all those unused subscriptions and out-of-date memberships you're still paying for. When you open your wallet, or when you go to hand over the card, or even just put your hand in your pocket for a bit of cash for a magazine, just think, do I really need what I'm buying, or do I just want what I'm buying? And set a long-term goal. It's much easier to make a short-term sacrifice if you're working towards something that really matters to you. It might be putting together a £1,000 savings buffer, it might be retraining for a new course, for a new job, or just to take the kids on a brilliant holiday. And if you are interested in doing a challenge, maybe make it more of a mini challenge. Do a no-spend month, or just give up spending on something that you know you spend a lot of money on. If you think you can't afford to invest, think again. It's actually easy to cut your spending. Make a few changes and you'll soon find you have extra money that you can put to far better use inside your ISA.